This is the latest experiment I'm gonna be trying out. And this board is, I made it on a new mold. So the mold's actually pretty similar to the steep one. It's a cross between the old mold I used to skate, which is like medium and the steep one. But that's not like the real thing that I wanna be experimenting with here. The main thing is this, this structural piece right here. And this idea actually came from building a carbon fiber maple bamboo hybrid longboard that when I made it, it was way too flexible. So I added on some strips like this to reinforce it to make it stiffer. And in doing that, I realized that there, there could be a couple benefits to having, having this piece here. So for one, it's kind of like having more concave or like risers. Your wheels are less likely to hit the edge of the board when you turn because it kind of rises, raises the deck away from the wheels. Um, two, it makes the board a little bit lighter because there's not, this is, I have three of these pieces that are three and a half inches wide, three one sixteenth inch veneers in place of two full size veneers. So it's a five ply deck with three of these strips instead of a seven ply deck. So it's definitely lighter. And the last thing is that by having all the weight or more weight in the center, it may help make the board flip better because it has more of a central center of gravity. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, but basically if you think about like an ice skater, when they spin, to spin faster, they tuck their arms in. So they bring their center of gravity in. So I'm hoping that this may, this board may have a lot more, it may flip a lot easier. I haven't done anything on it yet other than ridden around on it. And I wanted to shoot this quick thing because it might break right away too. So I'm gonna skate it now and see how it is and how long it lasts. It's definitely lighter though. It feels lighter, but my timing is still like way off with everything with the new board. So I'm just gonna skate it more now. So after skating this for about, how long have I been skating it? For like an hour? It still feels off. Some, some tricks are starting to feel a little bit better. Like once, once I break in a board, like, what am I trying to say? Once you break in the board, like whenever you get a new board, it's always hard to skate, but this one's still just, there's something that feels so different about it to me. I'm so used to skating seven plies and while I might change up the shapes every so often, I don't really change up the weight distribution or the weight of the actual board. So that's really strange. And the fun thing, the funny thing about this, it feels kind of weak, but it also feels fine. Like it's not flexing at all. It doesn't appear to be flexing too much in the middle, but when I like push down on these edges, you can see it like flattens out at the rail. I don't know if you could see, it's kind of hard, hard to tell, but I can basically make a little indentation. You see how it drops in there? So because it's missing like the two plies, it actually is pretty flexible. It appears to gradually kind of rebound, but still I wouldn't, it's a fun experiment, but I think I'd want to stick to full seven plies.
After a few sessions on the board, I was skating it and I heard a crack when I landed and I thought that was it. I thought the board broke and that was what I was kind of expecting being how thin it was on the edges. And actually I looked closer at it and it just delaminated at that center piece. So you can see here is where it's kind of coming apart. And the reason for that is I didn't use enough glue in the layup and I kind of actually knew that going into this. I tried something that I normally really don't ever do, which is just putting glue on one side of the veneer and not gluing the other side of the veneer. And I put a little bit more on. Normally I glue both sides of the veneer when I'm making a deck and put both those glue glued faces against each other. With this board, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to keep this surface smooth since I knew it was gonna be exposed and I didn't want to sand off extra glue. So I thought I would just put glue on the center piece and glue it to the board, but I didn't put enough glue on and it started to come apart. Overall, I feel like I got a decent amount of time on it at least, still maybe not enough to fully get used to the new shape but enough to get a feel for it. And aside from the glue issue, which I can always, I know what the cause of that was and I'll be able to fix going forward. The other thing that I would change on this would be to add supports also on the edges, on the rails of the board, because it really felt too flexible for what I wanted out of the board, for what I was used to on the edges. For example, like when I'm setting up for, when I was setting up for a flip trick or flicking the board, it felt kind of soft. And I think that's why it really didn't feel like the board flipped faster. That was one of my original goals and intents with this, was to try and make the board flip faster. But the edges where I flick felt so flexible that I, didn't really notice any change in how much the board flicked. Again, I only got like a few sessions in on this, so maybe with more time, I would have felt the difference. It definitely did feel lighter though, and I noticed that in skating it. This is a brand new board that's built normally with seven plies of maple. This is three pounds. Three ounces. Now we're gonna try this board out. Definitely feels lighter. This is two pounds and fourteen ounces. So it's that two five ounces lighter about. I found out that this is actually kind of mimicking an old shape, an old style of board, the Powell Peralta Beamer. I didn't know that existed and some friends pointed that out to me. So I thought I was kind of coming up with something new here, but it had already been done uh, quite a while ago. <laughs> but it was fun to, to try out myself and experiment with. Just to quickly summarize my observations from this, having skated this board, it felt lighter. That was awesome. It also was nice in that I maybe got slightly less wheel bite. It wasn't a significant amount, but that little bit did help, I think. Unfortunately, it felt too soft on the rails of the board and it, I didn't really notice the board flipping any faster, but that could be because the rails felt too flexible and because I hadn't fully gotten used to the shape before it delaminated on me. Maybe I'll try another one soon where I do a better glue up and resolve that and see really how long it lasts if it 
does break soon and what having additional support here and here might do to the feel of the board. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoy these experimental build videos. If you do, liking the video really helps out this channel. It helps us grow. Commenting and sharing the video, that also helps as well. And of course, subscribing. Thank you, as always, for watching and hope to find you here again for another, another video soon.